There are no magic pills. Hey guys, it's John here talking to you from the John of News Studios. Already had my big mug of coffee this morning. I've got another pot on right now, though. Second cup is, second pot is always decaf, so. First pot is high test, the second is, is no lead. <laughs> um, I wanted to hop on and talk about the concept of the magic pill. The, the miracles that pop up, the light show that we all look for, you know, the, the big spiritual aha moments, right? I have a friend who, who I love and adore, and every f- few months I get a call and, and he says, oh my God, John, this thing, check this out. This is amazing. I'm, I'm, you know, I, found, I finally found my answer. It's like, it, it was, boom, I, aha, eye-opening moment. And he gets on this, this rampage and he's so excited about this new spiritual epiphany he's had. And it's going to change his world and everything's, everything's been figured out now. And then he keeps going. And then a few months later, I get another call, exactly like the first one. I finally found it. I finally found it. And then a couple months go by, and I get the same, same call. John, I, found, I figured it out. I figured it out. He's constantly looking for the magic pill, the spiritual epiphany, the, the, the one truth that will make it all right. And he's constantly finding it. He's constantly finding it. But then it wears off. It wears off because, though it may have been the big one thing, it's, it's all external. It's looking outside of yourself. The reality of it is, is that everything that you'll ever need in life is right inside of you. And when you come to the space of realizing that, that you are the creator of your experience and that everything that you'll need is inside of you, and what happens is you come to a place of realizing that, that the aha moments are every moment of your life. The way you live your life is the light show. It is the magic pill. The choices you make, the actions you take, the beliefs you have are the magic pill. There's no need to see some big miraculous light show when you realize you are the miraculous light show. The fact that you breathe in and out the fact that you walk through this life, the fact that you have the capacity to choose to love or choose to fear, that is the light show. And the more you start to realize that if you choose the loving side, then everything gets better and greater and the light show is is ongoing. And the fear is what makes you feel like you're not having that light show. And so when when you think about the magic pill, all you're really doing is giving yourself something to believe in for a short time. Because when the pill wears off, it's still just you. And when you realize that the magic pill is you, and you are the choice, and you are the, the belief, and you are the, the reality that's been realized around you, then you have the ability to go, oh, I'm living the light show. I'm creating the light show. I'm firing the fireworks. I'm the one who's launching these things. I'm the one who is, who is creating the light show as I go. And you start to realize people will, will react to you as the light show. And then they'll start to make changes because you're showing them, you know, something you found. This guy found amazing stuff. He showed us our divinity. He was living the light show. And he was telling us we could too. And it's all about all of us coming back to that space of realizing we get to we get to live the light show. We're the producer of the light show. But the more we look outside of ourselves, the more we'll wander in the wilderness. The more we'll get lost in, in the woods of our own thought. And, the, and the, the trees will seem thick and dense and endless until something will shine so bright that it'll become the next light show and you'll go that way. It'll take you down a different path to a different set of trees. But when you turn around and look back, there's no woods behind you. There's no forest behind you. It's just you. It's just you. Even the trees themselves are a product of your belief. It comes back to you being the pinpoint of creation. It comes back to you being a co-creator with God. It comes back to you standing in your power 
recognizing that everyone else can stand in theirs as well. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. The John of the New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.